All right guys, Paul Martin Belts back here again for a brand new video. This is gonna be a quick look at a brand new United States spinner replica belt I've recently relathered, restored, and restoned. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at this belt. So like I said, it's been restoned, relathered, and restored by me. First, we'll talk about the leather work as is uh, usual for my videos. So uh, I've aimed this belt to be as TV accurate as possible. I should point out this belt was in terrible condition when I got it. This is my belt and I'm actually going to be selling it in the coming months. Um, the plates were really scratched up, most of the stones were missing, the strap was destroyed, uh, bolts were broken and yeah, I've worked the past few weeks on repairing this belt and bringing it back to a brand new standard which I'm happy to say it's uh, pretty much there. I'm really happy with the result of this belt. But let's go on to the leatherwork. So I've gone for a TV accurate style. So we've got JMR style snap box here, 2x8 as you can see, nickel snaps here. Uh, kind of standard tooling, you'll see uh, the spacing here is really short as it reaches the border for the plates, which on the US spinner belt is actually a really cool style of uh, leather. I love the stars throughout the strap as you can see, but the main kind of focus of it is the red, white and blue stitching that actually goes all the way around the belt. You can't see it under the center plate and over the center plate, but it goes from left to right, all the way around it. So you can see three rows of stitching. Like I said, red, white, and blue. Now hopefully the camera picks up nicely there. I can tell you that took way longer than I would have liked it to. Uh, that was all hand stitched by me there. So yeah, really nice leather work. I, I, I love the leather design, I should say, on this belt. I always enjoy belts that have a little more tooling kind of in and around the plates of the, on the strap. But this one, of course, doesn't feature any border tooling. It has the beveled edges, as you can see, going around, but the stitching kind of uh, is in place of any tooling around the border, which I think is a nice look for this belt, especially the red, white, and blue kind of the American flag colors. Really nice look in this belt. So yeah, we'll go to the sixth plate here. There's no logo plate tooling as this belt never featured it on the TV accurate belt, so I, I stuck without doing it. I do like doing logo plate tooling, but when the real belt didn't have it, I was sticking to accuracy on this one. Uh, two by five female snap box here as the standard. Uh, my signature on the end there, so you can probably see crafted by Paul Martin. So yeah, uh, really nice leather work. I love doing it for this belt. It's a nice unique style, so it's always cool to do something different and exciting, and the stitching on this belt definitely did that, even though it took a hell of a long time. Uh, we'll go to the back of the belt and then we'll start looking at the plates more thoroughly. So you can see you can see the stitching showing up through the backing, which is quite a cool look. It looks kind of different than most belts. Obviously, the thread has to go somewhere, so it shows up on the back, similar to how it did on the real belt. You can see the uh, spinner piece here covered up by the ladder because there's no need to see that. Uh, and of course, all the bolts and the male snaps covered up as well. Female snaps obviously left exposed so it can snap together. There's the logo plate. So yeah, you can see all the details through the backing there again. It's a nice smooth leather backing. Always a big fan of using that. My favorite backing to use personally. It's pretty standard, but I think it's the best looking one to use. Of course, the main point of this belt is it's a spinner piece. So yeah, really nice belt. Uh, like I said, this belt's actually been restored by me and restoned. Uh, the plates were in very poor condition, so I completely stripped them down. The paint was all removed, and I actually replated this in nickel, so it doesn't actually show much of a difference. Obviously, the plating on the belt originally was of a silver color. Nickel's pretty much exactly the same. It was just kind of to remove scratches. There's still going to be the faint ones. I had to sand this down a little bit to get rid of some of the uh, marks and... Um, kind of fading of the plates but really nicely restored really happy with how it's turned out and yeah like I said this was all repainted so the paint's all new the champion the John Cena Ward Life all of that and of course all the stones have been replaced so uh, the lighting might not be perfect here but I hope you can see kind of a sparkle from the stones there of course these are real Swarovski crystals used on this belt so I think the lighting should be good enough to kind of pick up a little bit of that. 
My favourite has to be the American flag plate, I must say, because the red, white and blue stones really pop nicely. You can see just the sparkle there. The blue star on the outer side plates is really nice to look at as well. Of course, spinner piece. So hopefully all the stones are sparkling nicely on video. Uh, in person, if you have a lot of lights on it, it gives it a really good look, but hopefully that shows up through camera. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to say about this belt. Really nice belt. I think when, uh, when this first came out, this was probably my most sought after replica. Um, at the time, it's probably one of my favorite belts just because of how unique it is. I think out of the custom belts, similar to like the Smoking Skull, um, the Radar Spinner, I guess the spinner you could count as a custom belt for Cena at the time, even though it lasted a lot longer than probably should have. I think this might be my favorite kind of superstar personal belt. I think it's really unique at the time. It fits Cena's character perfectly and it's a cool looking belt. So yeah, like I said, this belt will be for sale eventually. If you're interested, contact me at paulmartinbelts at gmail.com. Uh, over the coming months, I might start offering belt repairs more regularly. Uh, this was a really fun one to work on and the repairs came out really nicely. Uh, it's pretty much back to brand new condition, if not better because of the restone and re -leather. So that being said, thank you for watching. If you're interested, contact me, like I said, at the email in the description box below. Having said that, if you give this video a like, it really helps out. And if you subscribe, if you have not already, please do for more belt videos coming up shortly. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.